step in with your front facing knee and back of your neck here. So um, uh, this is one of the uh, artifacts that we have uh, at our farm uh, that's fully hands-on uh, and immersive. I had this collar uh, made in 1998 when I was on my second journey on the Underground Railroad from Alabama to Canada. And um, like Oprah's uh, 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 insinuation, uh, people ask me all along the way, or, or said all along the way, you must really know what it's like to be a runaway slave. And I said, absolutely not. And so when I reached Kentucky, I got an idea. I had uh, been reading um, a, a runaway slave notices in an archives, and um, uh, one master said his uh, slave had escaped, this was in Kentucky, had gotten off his collar and was likely headed, uh, uh, no, escaped with the collar, would likely try to get it off and reach Ohio. So I went to a blacksmith with an image of someone wearing this. And I said, could you replicate this for me? Uh, to which he promptly replied, hell no. <laughs> um, pardon my French. And um, I talked about the significance of it and what I was doing and uh, he, uh, he, he relented and uh, agreed to make it. Three days later, he calls me up and says, your thing is ready. <laughs> I go to his shop. By the way, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep on one more minute, and then we'll take it off. Um, so I went to his shop, and he had an assistant there, and they put it on me. And my plan had been to follow um, uh, routes through Kentucky, a uh, uh, 110-mile path where I could follow uh, a state and national parks, wilderness areas. I wanted to keep as uh, far away from people as possible, uh, go the most isolated journey. And I had everything planned. Now, this was devised this way with hooks on the end, turned at different angles, so that when you ran into the woods, it would hopefully snag on vines and branches and slow you down. But I figured all you had to do was bend over like this and walk sideways through all the branches. No. Yes. No. Yes, that wouldn't have happened, right? No. Okay, and let's put your head up. And in fact, let's take her out of it. Um, I wore this for 20... Yes. Do you mind if I... Yes, please. Because, I mean, just standing here and holding it doesn't feel like what it would be like to have to... What did they do? Actually, I mean, when this was put on, did they just stand still or did they have to carry on? Right. So, um, let's do this. I'm going to give you a demonstration. Can you just hold this up? First time I wore it, I wore it for 10 minutes and then I was bedridden for two days. So, I just, it's, it's worse than you think. You can't have that then. Exactly. So, let's turn this way. Let's not turn it up. So, um, and um, you here in the front. You in the back. Great. So we have a good profile here. So um, uh, this is a, a, a collar. Sometimes they were smaller with spikes. Sometimes they were like the one that Wilson Chin was wearing. Uh, it had the collar and then the prongs that went up. Yep, that's called the bell and horns. And uh, with the bell and horns, you would have a bar that went down here, a metal excuse me for growth, I mean, um, uh, metal band, like belt around your waist, 
then another bar here on the inside of your leg, and you would be shackled here. Um, not too tightly, but enough to allow you to walk. Um, then here would be a spire that would come up over your head, and it had the belt on the end. And so as soon as you started moving, clang, 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 clang. One slave from Mississippi said that um, uh, he was put in the fields working with that whole setup, that he found a place in the field where water had settled and there was mud. And when no one was looking, he was able to fall down, um, which makes me think he didn't have these, but the other one, fall down, roll around until he got mud in the clapper of the bell, and then sit there and allow the Mississippi sun to make it dry. At which point, he got up and raced off into the future. Um, uh, so people had to use a lot of uh, uh, ingenuity. So let's, let's take this off. Let's switch you around. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. So, Tony, can you tell us how much that weighs? It weighs a lot. And I'm guessing it's about 15 pounds. Wow. Uh, in all these years, I've never weighed it. But I'm going to pass it around. And you will all get a opportunity. Thank you. Can we give her a hand? Row, let them pick it up, um, and then it'll.